Hello and welcome to the very first episode of IPCast, a podcast on IP-related matters by Starks, a niche law firm specializing in intellectual property law and international trade law. My name is Maria baitsova Wienens, and I'll be your host today. In this episode, let's start the IP discussion. And since at the outset, everybody needs a strategy, let us talk exactly about that, about IP strategy. In particular, in the upcoming couple of minutes, let us try to answer the question, why? Why would a company need IP strategy? The short answer is to stay in business. Here, I can wrap up the episode right here. Thanks for listening. All right, not so fast. Here's the longer one. More often than not, we hear from our clients that they will think about all that IP stuff somewhat later, that at the moment, there are more pressing issues to deal with. What happens next is pretty predictable. There is either a competitor that free rides on their reputation, or they find themselves violating someone else's rights, or there is a nasty dispute just because there was no clarity in the initial cooperation agreement, and so on. In other words, troubles that could have been easily prevented should the IP strategy receive attention from the outset. Let me be clear here. IP strategy does not exist in a vacuum. It should always be linked to the business strategy of a company. What industry exactly are you in? Which market? What is your business model? What exactly defines your edge? What is your USP? Who are your competitors? Which features of your product or service are especially valued by your customers? How high is the threat of substitutes for you? What are your user journeys? What needs to be exclusive? All these questions are essential for defining the IP strategy for your company. But let me repeat it once again. Business strategy comes first. Now, let's assume your business strategy is defined. How does IP tie in there? And still, why should it? Most importantly, aside from all those vague risks I already mentioned in the very beginning, why would a company need to care about intellectual property? Well, what is the main objective of your business strategy? To get a competitive advantage and supranormal returns as a result, right? In other words, you want to be successful and you want to earn money. Not only today, but also tomorrow. Here is your why IP strategy then. The most important thing that IP can do for you is to make your competitive advantage sustainable so that you could keep on earning money also tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. IP is used to influence each of the market forces in your favor. You can create barriers to entry and economies of scale. You can increase switching costs, create closed standards and lock-in effects, control distribution channels, all that and much more can be achieved with the right IP strategy. So no, it's not only about registering your trademark, which is a good idea anyway. It is about assessing your business model and defining which IP can ensure a sustainable competitive advantage for your company. Are you ready to win the market? Then you should care about your IP strategy. Thanks for listening. As always with podcasts, please like, share and subscribe. We will greatly appreciate that. And for any questions, suggestions, concerns, as well as, of course, for service requests, just drop us an email at info at starks.be. Starks, your sustainable growth supporter.